let's take a look at what logical operators are. Let's see those. All right, welcome back to the Java introduction here for Minecraft and Hytale modding. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at a logical operators. Now, last time we have seen the comparison operators and a little bit of how Booleans work. And now it is off to look at the logical operators right here. Those are three. There is the AND operator. There is the OR operator. And then there's the one that we've already seen, which is basically the NOT or the negation operator. So those are the three logical operators. And with those three, basically, in theory, you can build a computer, like an entire computer that just works. That's sort of the idea. Because as soon as you have those three, you basically can calculate with Booleans, because Booleans, you know, zeros and ones, they're basically just bits. And computers, of course, work with bits. And computers pretty much just use the AND, OR, and, you know, negation gates to then basically, you know, build up. And this is why these are incredibly powerful, even though at the first sight you might be like, mm, really, are they really that powerful? Well, you can think of it something like this. So we have the booleans from last time here still, so like the video, hopefully true, and then commented, might be false, might be true, who knows? However, what we then have is we can then make a boolean that, for example, says super fan, right? And then this is equal to like this video and commented, where this kind of makes sense. Once again, the logical operators, similar to the arithmetic operators, return a particular type. And in this case, the logical operators simply return another Boolean. So we can put in a Boolean statement right here and a Boolean statement right here. And then th it, this returns a Boolean statement. And the AND operator, the idea is that it returns true when both of these are true. This should make sense, right? A super fan, of course, would both like the video and comment on the video. This should just make sort of intuitive sense in this with this example here. Uh, then let's make a little bit of a more abstract example. So we can, for example, have a Boolean, you know, just B1, for example. And then the OR operator, well, like the video, OR commented, this is now true if this is true or this is true. This is, of course, why this is called the OR operator. This or this, right? If either one of them are true or both of them are true, then that's fine. So let's actually add a comment here. So this is actually false in this case. False um, because commented, commented is not true. So this is only true when both of them are true. And then this is actually true because one of them is true. Right, so that's basically the general idea. And then negation, we've seen something like this already, right? Where it's like maybe something like a, I mean, it's not quite right, but you know, Super hater would probably be the exact opposite of a super fan. So if someone is a super fan, they can't be a super hater. Kind of makes sense, right? So this would now be true. Oh no, what? See, this is where we're getting into very interesting things, right? Because we negate super fan, right? So now we're getting into an interesting sort of conundrum because, well, you know, someone has liked the video, but just not has just hasn't commented. You know, they're all, all of a sudden being, you know, marked as a super hater. What? So as you can see, you got to be sometimes a little bit wary with, with the and or the ors, right? Because maybe we're actually going to be like, well, actually, this is the fan, right? Because if they like the video or they commented, then they're going to be a fan. So maybe we can say, well, actually, you know what? Just when they haven't done this or this, then they're, you know, a super hater. But then also, like, are they really a super hater at that point? Maybe they're just a hater. Right. So this example might be a little bit weird, but I think that it, it sort of illustrates the point quite well. And then you might even be like, well, wait a second, a super hater would also dislike the video. Right. And then we can be like, OK, sure. I mean, we can say a super hater right, would then be a hater and someone who has not liked the video. But then it's like, wait a second, we need something else here. Right. Because like this video, it's like that's not that's not enough. We need another one. We need another Boolean that has disliked this liked this video. This is what we need, right? So that's we'll put this to false for the sake of argument. But this is what we need, right? So if someone has disliked the video, and they're a hater, then we can mark them as a super hater. So you can see, we've used a lot of stuff right here, we've used this fan. And this fan is that like the video or commented the video. And in theory, what we can do, and this is the crazy thing, we can actually write this all in one line, if we wanted to, because the hater is just this 
negated, right? The fan negated, and the fan is just this. So in theory, we could write this just for demonstration purposes, like this video or comment it, right? And then I put um, the parentheses around here. I negate this, and then I say, and dislike this video. This here is exactly the same as this. Just this is way more readable. Also very important. That's a good lesson here because there's no issue with having, you know, multiple booleans here. If they help you sort of understand the code, way better. If this is too complicated, it's like, oh, that's, that's kind of complicated. No, let's, you don't have to do this. That's totally fine. So those are the three logical operators. Hopefully with these examples sort of illustrating the point. I also have one more thing and that is a, a nice slide. This is basically this right here. So we had the AND operator, we had the OR operator, and the negation operator. And this is, of course, also available in the description below. So this is a little bit of a cheat sheet. It's nothing too crazy, but it just sort of illustrates what is happening. So the AND operator, you know, it has a left side and a right side. So if this A is true and B is true, then the result is true. And you can see any other time it is false. So the AND operator is only true if both of the values are true. The OR operator, on the other hand, as you can see, is true if at least one of them is true, and then if only false if both of them are false. The negation should be self-explanatory pretty much. If A is true, then it turns false if we negate it, and if it's false, then it turns true. Right, I hope that this was an illustrative example of how the logical operators work. Once again, we're soon going to be seeing a very cool application of this that we can actually use. So a application of booleans. Uh, otherwise, I hope that this was kind of useful. Once again, if there are any questions along the way, please feel free to leave me a comment and I'll try to answer them best I can. Otherwise, it will be this for this video right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, of course, appreciate a like. And let's hope to turn this into a true for a comment as well. I'll see you in the next video. So, yeah.